I'm Tony Latai from Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, uh, and I was very happy to talk today at the Chabner Symposium. What I talked about were some of the studies that my lab's been doing based around the mitochondrial pathway of apoptosis. This is a programmed cell death pathway that regulates how probably most cancer drugs end up killing uh, cancer cells. It's regulated by the BCL2 family of proteins, and that's the family of proteins that we study most closely. It turns out that the decision to commit to programmed cell death happens at the point of permeabilization of the mitochondria. And what we have found is that simply by measuring how readily the mitochondria from cancer cells permeabilize their mitochondria in response to synthetic BH3 peptides is a great predictor of what drugs that cancer cell will respond to. We have uh, invented an assay we call BH3 profiling uh, that allows us to systematically apply these peptides to mitochondria and measure their permeabilization. In one use, uh, we can use peptides to identify BCL2 dependent or MCL1 dependent or BCLXL dependent cells. And this has turned out to be a very good predictor of uh, whether those cells are sensitive to BCL2 inhibitors or BCLXL inhibitors uh, and so forth. So I gave examples in uh, CLL, for uh, instance, where we were able to identify CLL uh, a long time ago as a BCL2-dependent disease, and subsequently clinical trials have very nicely validated that prediction, uh, where venetoclax has shown really excellent clinical activity in CLL. And we've gone on in other diseases like AML and BPDCN and ALL and so forth to show that there's a lot of niches, particularly in blood cancers, where we expect uh, venetoclax to be very sensitive, and these are being borne out in clinical trials right now. Additionally, we found that we could apply drugs to cancer cells ex vivo in very short-term cultures, less than 24 hours. We could apply drugs and find how does that affect the sensitivity of the cancer cells, mitochondria, to these same BH3 peptides that we, what we, what we, and in fact, what we measure is the change in the BH3 profiling induced by these cancer drugs. And we found that that can be employed, we call it dynamic BH3 profiling, we found that that can be employed as a predictive biomarker for a very wide range of drugs. And we've, we've now tested this in a number of in vivo systems to show that it really has very good predictive power across many classes of drugs to identify in an individualized, personalized way what drugs an individual tumor will best respond to. We hope that over the next years, uh, efforts like ours, we call this functional precision medicine, will increasingly be used to assign uh, drugs to patients both in clinical trials and eventually in standard clinical use.